Welcome to Hello English Teacher. Today let's look at the MCQs from the chapter The Enemy of Class 12. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe. You can listen to the explanations of chapters from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. The enemy is written by Pearl S. Buck. So let's look at the MCQs from this chapter. Here is the first extract. It was at this moment that both of them saw something black come out of the mist. It was a man. He flung up of the ocean, flung. It seemed to his feet by a breaker. He staggered a few steps, his body outlined against the mist, his arms above his head. Then the curled mist hid him again. So this is the extract. So let's look at the questions. So question number one, who are the two mentioned here? Dr. Sadaw and his wife, Dr. Sadaw and his servant, Dr. Sadaw and another doctor, Dr. Sadaw and his daughter. So the answer is Dr. Sadaw and his wife. So let's look at the next question. Question number two, who is the man referred here? The white man, the Japanese soldier or the Japanese prisoner or none of the above? So here the man is none other than the white man whom they found from the sea. So the next question, how did the man reach the shore? Struggled to walk a few steps, walk comfortably, swam across with the water current. So maybe with the water current he had escaped because he had received a gunshot by the enemies and he just reached the shore. So next question, why was the man not visible clearly? The mist hid him, the sea hid him, the waves hid him, none of them. So it was because of the mist that they were not able to see him clearly. So let's look at the next extract. Now Sadav remembered the wound and with his expert fingers he began to search for it. Blood flowed freshly at his touch. On the right side of his lower back Sadav saw that a gun wound had been reopened. So let's look at the questions from this extract. Question number one, whose wound is referred to here? The man from the sea, Sadao, Dr. Sadao's wife or the gardener? So we know that the wound referred to is that of the man from the sea. So next question, whose expert fingers is mentioned here? Dr. Sadao, his wife, the doctor of the hospital, the master. Obviously the answer is Dr. Sadao. So it is about his experts expert fingers that we are talking about so let's look at the next question what had happened to the man he was hit by a rod he was shot by a gun he was hurt he was hurt due to an operation so here the answer is he was shot by a gun so that is why he was wounded so next question what happened when the doctor was ready to give the treatment blood oozed out the blood clotted or the blood drained out and none of them. So the answer is the blood drained out as he just tried to open the wound and try to remove the bullet. So let's look at the next extract. The master ought not to heal the wound of this white man. He said bluntly to Hannah. The white man ought to die. First he was shot. Then the sea caught him and wounded him with her rocks. If the master heals what the gun did, and what the sea did, they will take revenge on us. So let's look at the questions from this extract. Question number one, who said not to heal the wound? The old gardener, Yumi or the servant or Hannah. So it is the old gardener who said not to heal the wound. So next question, what do you mean by sea caught? The sea has punished, the sea has become friendly, the sea has called him, the sea had arrested. So the answer is the sea has punished. So that is the meaning of sea caught. So let's look at the next question from this extract. The speaker believed that the sea would take revenge on them if they had healed. The sea would catch them. The sea will shoot them all of the above. So here the speaker is the old gardener and he believed that the sea would take revenge on them if they try to heal the so next white question. Man. What had the sea done to the white man? It had punished the white man. It had taken revenge on the white man. It has shot the white man with a gun, all of the above. 
so the answer is it had taken revenge on the white man this was according to the old gardener so now let's look at the next extract if we sheltered a white man in our house we should be arrested and if we turned him over as a prisoner he would certainly die said sadao the kindest thing would be to put him back into the sea hana said but neither of them moved they were started with a curious repulsion upon the inert figure so now let's look at the questions from this extract question number 1 Why will Dr. Sadao be punished for sheltering a white man? It was war time and he was from the enemy country. He was a doctor. He took the help of his wife. The servants left the job. So the answer is it was war time and he was from an enemy country. So if he sheltered a white man, he would be punished. So the next question, which country did Dr. Sadao belong to? Germany, India, Japan, France. So Dr. Sadao belonged to Japan. So let's look at the next question. Who is Hannah? Gardner, Dr. Sadao's sister or servant or Dr. Sadao's wife. So we know that Hannah is Dr. Sadao's wife. So she was also a Japanese. So next question. Why do you think they felt repulsive looking at that white man? It was because he was an enemy soldier, because he was bleeding, because he was not willing to take treatment, none of them. so they felt repulsive because he was an enemy soldier so the answer is a so let's look at the next text track the man moaned with pain in his stupor but he did not awaken the best thing that we could do would be to put him back in the sea sadao said answering himself now that the bleeding was stopped for the moment he stood up and dusted the sand from his hands yes undoubtedly that would be the best hana said steadily but she continued to stare down at the motionless man if we sheltered a white man in our house we should be arrested and if we turned him over as a prisoner he would die sadao said the kindest thing would be to put him back into the sea hana said but neither of them moved they were staring with curious repulsion upon the inert figure so let's look at the questions question number 1 in which of the following options can the underlined word not be replaced with stupor stupor means kind of uh, unconsciousness or feeling insensibility so let's look at the sentences she hung up the phone feeling as though she had woken up from a slumber the manager complained about the employee's sluggishness he seemed to be in a trance when the doctor called upon him last week seeing him in a daze the lawyer decided not to place him in the witness box so the answer is b the manager complained about the employee's sluggishness so sluggishness that's not uh, or cannot be replaced with the word stupor because stupor means insensible or fake, nearly unconscious so let's look at the next question pick the option that best describes uh, sadao and hana in the passage sadao scrupulous hana wary sadao daring hana prudent Sadao prudent, Hana suspicious, Sadao wary and Hana daring. So the answer is B. Sadao daring and Hana prudent. What is the meaning of prudent? To deal something very carefully and with a lot of thought. So let's look at the next question. Pick the idiom that best describes the situation in which Sadao and Hana were in. To be like fish out of water, like water off a duck's back. To be dead in the water. To be in hot water so the answer is to be in hot water that is to be in a very difficult situation so let's look at the next question choose the correct option with reference to the two statements given below statement 1 sadao and hana cared about the soldier but were worried about the consequences of being considerate statement 2 sadao and hana wanted to shirk the responsibilities of looking after an injured soldier who could be an american So statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false statement 1 is false but statement 2 is true both statement 1 and 2 are true both statement 1 and 2 are false so here the answer is a statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false so let's look at the next extract i wondered your excellency sadao muttered murmured it was certainly very careless of me the general said 
but you understand it was not lack of patriotism or dereliction of duty he looked anxiously at his doctor if the matter should come out you would understand that wouldn't you certainly your excellency said the officer he suddenly comprehended that the general was in the palm of his hand and that a consequence he could as a consequence he himself was perfectly safe i swear to your loyalty excellency he said to the old general and to your zeal against the enemy so let's look at the next question pick the option that best describes the word dereliction as used in the passage evasion deterioration negligence carelessness dilapidation and management so you can see that the answer is 1 3 and 4 so the word dereliction is close to meaning to evasion negligence and carelessness so let's look at the next question at the end of the conversation with the general sadaw felt rejuvenated and guilt free conceited and egoistic refreshed and self conscious relieved and guilt free so the answer is he felt relieved and guilt free so let's look at the next question so read the analysis of the general based on the given extract choose the options that fill the given blanks most appropriately so the general power but is of the obligation of his job he is so with his health that he forgets to send the assassins to kill the prisoner due to his interest he does not want to expose sadaw and agrees to keep the prisoners escape a secret so the answer is the general relishes power but is wary of the obligations of his job he is so self absorbed with his health that he forgets to send assassins to kill the prisoner due to his selfish interest he doesn't want to expose sadaw so now let's look at the next question pick the option that best matches the idioms with hand with their meanings so hand in glove in good hands tip one's hands bite the hand that feeds you so the meanings are given on the other side so the correct option is c that is one means d and two means a three is d and four is c so next question those scars she murmured lifting her eyes to sadaw the scars do not indicate torture perpetrated on prisoners of war superiority of japan over america the quest for supremacy in war the rumors of torture over often heard so the answer is b superiority of japan over america so it does not indicate this so next question pick the quote that best describes the theme of the story world belongs to humanity not this leader the leader or that king or prince or religious leader world belongs to humanity you must not lose faith in humanity humanity is an ocean if a few drops of the ocean are dirty the ocean does not become dirt the purpose of human life is to serve and to show compassion and this will help others to deny people of their human rights is to challenge their very humanity so here the answer is c the purpose of human life is to serve and show compassion and love which will be of help to others so now let's look at the next question she does not she did not wish to be left alone with the white man why did hana feel so despite having studied in america this was so because being a japanese it wasn't appropriate to stay on with a stranger america and japan were not allies in the ongoing war he was someone she had recognized from a past in america her husband had cautioned her against the american so the answer is b because america and japan were not allies in the ongoing war so they were enemy, enemies of each other so that is why she did not want to be with the white man so i hope you like today's video for more informative videos do subscribe to hello english teacher like share and give your valuable comments below thank you for watching